Hey everyone, August is over, so that means it's time to bring you my August favorites. August was a super stressful month for me, so I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't hugely focused on products and checking out new things. It was just kind of a survival month for me. But that's okay, that being said, I'm still here to let you know what eight products I was using the most of. It's quite a random little mix of things, but I'm still excited to share it with you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with the most random. Um, I wasn't even sure I was going to include this, but then I thought, well, it's a product, and it's a product I've been using a lot of, and I love it. Um, you guys have probably all seen this brand. You can pretty much get it at any convenient grocery store, pharmacy, etc. It is Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. Yes, I'm including a cleaning product this month. The scent is in basil. And let's be honest, that's why I'm obsessed with this product. Um, it's really awesome for everyday house cleaning because it is biodegradable and there's no harmful chemicals, formaldehyde, parabens, phthalates, none of that. So it's something I feel good having on hand every day and I don't mind using a ton of it. The basil scent is basically what I love the most about this product. It smells so good. Obviously it has a basil-y smell, but it's a very sweet basil smell, and I cannot describe it any other way than it smells like you walked into a flower shop. It's so sweet and blossomy and just so, I, I'm obsessed with the smell. I will clean absolutely everything with this. I clean surfaces, I clean my floors, I clean the sink, I clean, like anything that needs to be cleaned, I use this for it. And it just makes my house smell so good and it makes me want to clean. So I'm telling you, this product makes me excited to clean. Like I keep it right out on the counter and so anytime there's like any tiny little stain or spill, I'm just like chit, 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 clean, clean, clean. And it smells so good. You get this awesome reward for cleaning. Basically buy everything in this scent, in this line. They have a hand soap, they have a dish soap, they have laundry soap, and like I own it all. So if you buy me Christmas presents, you can buy me Mrs. Meyers anything in basil and I will be very, 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 very happy. So they have tons of other fragrances and they're all super inspiring. I mean, there's so many other good ones. They have a sunflower one, they have like gardenia, they have mum, they have new scents for fall, they have lemon, I mean, everything. And I challenge you to find one because once you find your spirit animal scent, you will clean your house all the time. So for the second product, it's probably going to come as no shock to you that I have yet another Alba Botanica product. This brand is just like killing it. I have not found anything that I don't like by them. This actually I did not buy. Uh, my mom passed this on to me. Thanks, mom. And this is their Hawaiian shampoo. It's called Drink It Up Coconut Milk Mega Moisture. First of all, I love that there's no damaging sulfates no drying formaldehydes, no parabens, phthalates, animal testing, 100% vegetarian. So it's again, one of those products I feel good flushing down my drain, using every day, and it's not doing my hair or the environment any damage. And so sometimes when you have a more environmentally friendly shampoo, it doesn't really seem to like really clean your hair. So you kind of were like, well, I guess it's worth it because it's good for the environment, even though my hair doesn't feel super clean. But this is a product that actually does like really heavy duty cleaning. You know how you want that squeak in your hair after you clean it? This makes your hair squeak. You kind of have to use a lot of product, but I have a lot of hair, so that's okay. It doesn't get like super, super sudsy, but you can you can work with it and you can feel like it, it gets, it cleans. Um, but yeah, it rinses out really easily and my hair just feels so clean, so fresh, and the clean even lasts a nice, good, long time. Like I can go three to four days easy. This has just become like my everyday shampoo and I think I'm gonna keep it around because Alba Botanica continues to just blow me away. Do you also have the conditioner that goes with it? It's also super, super awesome. I would say, if nothing else, try the shampoo because it's super cleansing and who doesn't love that on a super hot, sticky August day? 
Okay, the third product is a product that I really don't use a lot of. I'm very kind of more of like a clean and natural person when it comes to nails and manicures and things like that. I used to be a huge manicure pedicure girl. Uh, but ever since I became a server, it's just like not super realistic for me. And I'm not really into the no chip thing because my nails are already pretty weak and brittle. They don't need to be damaged anymore. So I opt just for like clean, filed, etc. But this month, I felt very compelled to treat myself and go get a mani-pedi. And when I walked in, I kind of thought like, yeah, I want to do like a light kind of white shade. I've seen white nail polish all over this season and I was even thinking it was a little trite. Like everybody's wearing white nail polish, whatever. I just decided to just try it, to jump on the trend and have it be a one-time thing. She says, pick your color. And I'm just like looking at the wall and I compared two of them. One was kind of more of a, like a sheer white. And then this one was like an opaque white. So this is OPI nail polish. We all know it well. The shade is Alpine Snow. This is bright, beautiful, matte, opaque white. I fell in love with this color instantly. I had to go buy a bottle because I was obsessed with my manicure and I was obsessed with my pedicure and I thought it looked so good. Not only that, but nail polish doesn't usually last super, super long on me because I'm very active and hands-on with a lot of things. So as you can see, my manicure has like very much since it's gone now. But I did have it on in my summer capsule wardrobe video. So if you missed it or you want to check out how this looks in action, uh, the link is in the box below. But my pedicure pretty much lasted all month. I don't know exactly what kind of like magic formula my nail girl used as far as like top coats, base coats, whatever. Even when I bought the bottle and repainted my nails, like it still lasted a good couple of days and I don't really use like a whole lot of top coat, base coat action. I'm so impressed by the quality and the color of this product that I'm gonna go get another Manny Petty today and pick out another OPI shade. I used to kind of always like Essie a little more, but now I think I like OPI because this seems to be really high quality bright, vibrant color, long lasting nail polish. So if you are interested in trying out white nail polish or you already have and you love it, you don't know, like I just totally recommend. I say definitely pick this little guy up because I wore this nail polish basically all month. So the next few items are makeup items. I wasn't really wearing like a ton of makeup this month. I had kind of a classic easy everyday look going on. And so here's a few items that uh, really helps me get out of the house quick and have just like an easy, natural summer makeup look. So the first thing is a makeup primer. I have never really been a makeup primer user and I've been kind of like keeping an eye on this product for a while. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it or not. And then I finally was like, you know what, I really want to try it. And if it winds up being good, I'm going to be really happy because it has the potential to be very good. And lo and behold, I would say this product is very, very, very good. Um, it is by NYX, NYX um, makeup brand, which is such an awesome, affordable brand. And this is their Honey Do Me Up Makeup Primer. Um, there's a couple of important ingredients in here. We've got honey, which is a natural antiseptic. I actually used to like slather my face with honey and leave it on for like 20 minutes. And it's totally a great product for clearing up your skin, clearing up acne, brightening your skin. So I was excited to see there was honey in this. It also has gold flakes to increase skin radiance and let's be honest, make you feel like you're using a super luxury product. Um, who's not going to love gold flakes in their makeup? And it also has collagen for smoother skin that's gonna kind of like fill in any rough spots or lines and just like make everything look a little more plump and full. So the first couple times I used it, I was like, okay, this is nice. It's very like slippery and smooth. It, it goes on really slick on your face. So it's not thick or heavy or anything. It's just like a really thin, slippery layer. And that's kind of what your makeup like grabs onto. I didn't really think anything of it the first few times I used it. I was like, yeah, it's a makeup primer. My makeup seemed to last a little longer by the end of the night. Cool, it did what I thought it would do. But after like two or three days, when I'd look at my skin in the morning, I was like, wow, my skin's like looking really clear and like really bright. And I can't think of why, except I think it might be this primer that I'm using. So I look at it again, I'm like, yeah, the honey, the radiance of the gold flakes, the collagen, like this works. And also let me just mention, this is cruelty free. So that's always awesome because we don't want to be hurting the baby animals. Uh, so it has this like cool little spatula 
as you can see. And you just kind of like wipe a little on your hands and rub it all in. I don't really let it set in for very long. Like I put it on and then walk right to my makeup counter and sit down and start doing it. I'm, I think if you let it absorb too much, it loses a little bit of the sticky slip that it kind of needs. I haven't been, a, like I said, I've never really used a makeup primer before and I know there's millions of primers out there and of course there's probably other ones I would like more. But just the fact that this works so well and made my skin look so nice that if nothing else, I will continue to buy this one. And I also am kind of inspired to look elsewhere for other primers and see what other products I may enjoy. There's one by Tarte that I've got my eye on. Uh, but in the meantime, this is super awesome and I'm definitely going to use this whole bottle. Um, and as far as keeping my makeup on totally works like it goes on smoother and it lasts longer and especially in combination with like a setting spray psh, you're good to go your makeup's not going to move at all so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good makeup primer and one that kind of brightens and clears up your skin this is awesome okay this next product is kind of funny I actually would never have bought this product if not for a recommendation I saw on YouTube um, I love Tati and I saw that she was using and recommended this and so since I love Tati, I was like, well, sure, I'll go try this out. And I, it actually took me like three times to buy this. Like I kept seeing it. It's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. But the third time I was like, you know what? It's like five or six dollars. I'm just going to get it and we'll see. So this is like a teenager product. It's by Maybelline and it's the Baby Lips brand. Um, baby. It is the Instant cheek flush and so uh, pinking of you is the name so as far as packaging goes it's like super cute super small and compact it's like a little lip balm uh, you just twist it apart here and then boom, this is like your little guy and you dab it on your cheeks this is a really nice product for that like no makeup kind of look like if it's gonna be a day when I know I'm gonna be outside in the sun I'm definitely gonna be sweating like there's no point in wearing makeup I'll just fill in my brows a little bit just do like a tiny bit of bronzer and just pop a little bit of this on my cheeks and like boom that's really all you need so this is like better than I thought it was gonna be it is really pink and bright and shiny so it is like an instant cheek flush. When you put this on, it just kind of instantly wakes you up, makes you look really radiant, uh, makes your skin just really glowy and fresh. Like it actually makes your cheeks really shiny. I have it on my cheeks today. And as you can see, it's got this like just nice bright shine to it. And I really like that a lot. Again, it's not for like an everyday look. Sometimes you need a nice matte blush and you need to have more of an evening look to your makeup. But for like a bright sunny day, this is really, really nice and fresh and pretty. So I'm glad I picked this up. It's kind of a random teenager purchase. Uh, but I will be hanging on to this for those like really quick and easy makeup days. Okay, so the next two products, I counted as two separate products, but they really kind of work together. However, I can use one separate from the other, but they're meant to be used together. Just, if I'm being confusing, just keep watching. I love them both for separate reasons, so I counted them as two separate things. So, this is a lip liner, and the brand is Ofra, and the color is Silk. I received this in my Ipsy bag, and when I got it, I was like, okay, okay, this looks pretty good. I am not a lipstick person. I wish that I could be, and I'm desperately trying to be, but lipstick has never been something I felt super, super comfortable in, uh, like, my whole life. I've worn it when I've been, like, performing on stage and events and things like that, but, like, every day, I'm just like, not a lipstick person. I work with some fabulous girls who wear like these bright awesome shades of lipstick every day and look totally normal and beautiful and every time I try I feel like I look ridiculous. But bright, beautiful, awesome colors aside, I just really wanted to try to find an everyday lipstick that I really liked to kind of just complete my look. Um, and so I was just really on the hunt and it was a hard hunt. I would try all of these like nude pink things and every time I was like, I look ridiculous. This lip liner is the first product I ever found that matched my lips, 
made me feel normal and actually made me feel prettier when I wore it. And so I just like could not get enough of this product at first and just wore it every day all the time because I'm so excited to find like my nude lip color. Like I found it. I found my lip liner. Um, so let me show you a little swatch here. Um, it is just this like, I don't know, this like dusty, brownish, pinkish, nudish, natural lip liner color. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. I do have something over it, but this is just like the perfect base for any kind of natural lip color that I want to do. Or even if I just want to wear gloss, but like just kind of have some definition to my lips, this is my lip color. Like this is it. And I was so excited to find it. Um, it's pretty affordable. I think it's like $10. Uh, I, it's gonna take me a while to go through a whole stick of lip liner so by the time I finish it I will feel like yeah that was worth it I'm gonna buy another one and this is just gonna be my lip liner I always keep on hand and it just enhances my natural beauty um, so yeah everybody should have a color like this in their arsenal just like their natural lip color that they can just kind of use to boost their lips um, and I love that this is just a little bit more cool toned than warm toned because that's just me. I can do a little bit of both, but the cool colors just look a little better on me than the warm colors, and lipsticks always look orange on me. So the fact that this looks not orange, I was so excited, and I love it, and I wear it like every day. But the lip liner wasn't enough because lip liner is kind of weird on its own. Although I can wear it on its own, I want to put at least a gloss or something over it. So in addition to finding the perfect lip liner, I was also on the hunt to find the perfect lip stick liquid lipstick matte lipstick whatever kind of lipstick that I could just like swipe on no matter what I was doing and be like yes just makes my lips look better doesn't look orange doesn't look red doesn't look pink or weird it just looks like me um, it took a lot of trial and error I have a lot of pinky brown shades in my makeup stash that are just like not quite right I don't even know what made me want to find this. It could have been Kathleen Lights. I love her channel. Either way, somehow I found this color. It is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. Super cheap. This product is like $3. And this shade is in Natural. Okay, so the first one that I tried by e.l.f. Same exact packaging, same matte lip color, but they have another color very similar and it's called Tea Rose. And that's the shade that everybody's like, oh my God, Tea Rose is the perfect nude. It's so pretty, da da da. So I went and got Tea Rose and it is really pretty. It's just a little too brown on me. So it's not something I can just slap on and be like, hey guys, and feel confident. Like I know when I'm wearing it because it just looks a little different than me. Um, and somehow I saw this one next to it and the colors look so similar that I was like, maybe I should try natural instead of tea rose. And ah, there it was. So it's the color I'm wearing today. As you can see, it's very natural looking on my lips. Um, nothing super crazy looking at all. And when you see it with my skin tone and with my makeup and everything, you're like, yeah, those are her lips. She looks pretty normal. Um, it's got this slim round tip so you can get like, you know, some definition here uh, and it doesn't really smear everywhere. It's very easy to apply. As you can see, these two are extremely complementary to each other. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color. This is the lip liner and they just go together so perfectly. This um, is my new favorite duo of all time. I always have this shade just like stashed in my bag now. And if I ever need to just kind of like, I want to look like I'm wearing lipstick, I can just throw it on. With lip liner is better, but without, it still looks really good. Um, it's very long lasting. The It's a little tiny, tiny bit dry because it is a matte lip color, so it's not like shiny or glossy. It's kind of just like onto your lips, but I like that. It sticks, it stays. I don't really have to think about it. I can eat, drink, lick my lips. It basically stays and I mean for three dollars if it wears off a little bit I can reapply it and I'm, I'm cool with that so this is like a really really pretty shade I'm sure one or the other will work for you either this natural shade or tea rose if you are not a fan of elf I say jump on that bandwagon because their products are really awesome and it's like the cheapest makeup line other than wet and wild um, so yeah anything I say that's like really cheap and also really good go for it. So yeah, this has become my new little lipstick holy grail from the girl who never ever ever was a lipstick person. 
They made a believer out of me. All right, and my final product is another leave-in conditioner. Uh, I know I had one in my July favorites, but that's okay. I'm like a hair conditioner junkie because I have really long, dry hair. So I have a whole collection of, of conditioners. And this one I decided to try a little mini sample of, and I wound up really loving it. I'm glad I picked it up. Um, it is by Carol's Daughter. So I've actually never used anything by this brand before. It is their black vanilla leave-in conditioner. And there's all sorts of cool info on here, like it adds moisture and shine. It's for dry, dull, brittle hair, replenishes moisture, improves manageability, and it has aloe, provitamin B5, and wheat protein in it. Also, no silicones, parabens, petroleum, mineral oil, or artificial colors. Um, my hair regimen of August has basically been wash, spray with conditioner, comb, leave it alone. Once it's completely dry, I will go through and fix a few little frizzy curls and, you know, kind of like add like a couple of little waves in here. But for the most part, I just like let it do its thing because my hair is at the point where I can't, I, it's in control, not me. It's in control. So I let it do what it wants to do. And that means I need to be adding a lot of moisture and a lot of natural oils to it to keep it very happy. This little guy definitely did the trick for me all month. It's light, it's fresh, my hair just drink it up, and the more it's moisturized and happy, just the curlier and prettier it looks. So that's another great, hmm, are you hearing that outside? I'm hearing that outside. My apartment is right by an alley and also right by the CTA train tracks. So it's just like a lot of noise all the time. Are we done? I think I'm gonna press on. We're almost done here. I'm really happy to keep this around because it's another one of those awesome products that's good for the environment, good for your hair, and also has a lot of amazing benefits. Um, I love the smell, black vanilla. It's kind of like this dark, walnutty, mm, delicious, dark vanilla smell. Um, one of my favorite smells. There are some other products I'm probably gonna go check out just because I was happy with this one. If you have tried any of these Carol's Daughter products or you have a favorite, let me know in the comments below because like I said, I'm intrigued and want to know what else by them is really good. Alrighty, well, those were my eight August favorites. Like I said, kind of a random little mixture, but I'm okay with that. I use what I use. Um, I'm super excited to jump into September. Once Labor Day is over, I feel like it's just fall. So I've got my fall capsule wardrobe. It's already, it's already in the works. It's already hanging up in my closet, ready to go. I will link my fall capsule uh, Pinterest board below so you can check out my color palette and some of my fashion ideas. And I'm also already getting some ideas for some fall products that I want to be using and trying. Stay tuned for my September favorites. Stay tuned for my fall capsule wardrobe, and I will see you again in an upcoming video. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for any love and support you can give to my channel, and I will catch you later. You guys wanna see my cat? He's so cute. <gasps> my Gus, are you so cute? Are you in all my videos? Yes, you are. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Oh, he's a little tired today.